it's Amanda here from Fun Hands on Learning and today I'd like to show you some activities that we did working on the shape square. So these activities come from my Hands on to Learn preschool curriculum. We did these the other day and we were working on squares and I wanted to share with you what we did. So the first activity I'm going to share with you is this. This is just making squares out of Play-Doh, but we also did something else with it. So first things first, um, here's some Play-Doh, and uh, we had been working on the color blue, so I made sure that uh, a lot of the accessories, I guess you could say, that, that go along with these activities were blue. So we used blue Play-Doh, and we just rolled it out. Okay, so we rolled it out like into... Um, a snake I guess and then we would do all four sides and we would make a square now the other thing we just I decided to do with this is after so let's say um, we rolled it all out and made our square we took them off I guess you could leave them on and um, we took these little squares that I have and we filled it in with squares so we filled in the square with squares like this. So this was a fun fine motor activity as well as working on um, the square shape and learning all about what it is. But I had my kiddos, my preschoolers, fill it in like this. And that was a lot of fun. They had to like kind of move them and make sure that they fit and try to see you know how many would fit inside of it and they made one big square with all these little squares. So that was also fun besides just using our Play-Doh to make the square. Okay, so we did that. Okay, another activity that we did to work on our squares was this. This mat comes in the curriculum and um, what, what you do is the kids spin the spinner and then they see what shape it lands on. So this time it landed on a square. So that means I get to find a square and place it on my mat. So they would pick up one of their um, square pieces and they would have to find a turtle that is a square and put it on top. And then they'd spin again and see what it lands on. It landed on a square again. So they get to do it again and find another turtle that is a square. Now, if it lands on something else, let's say it landed on a triangle, you would say, is that a square? No, that's not a square. What's that? That's a triangle. Okay, that's not a square. Let's spin again. And they would spin it again and see what it lands on. That one didn't land on anything. Um, but yeah, so that they would just keep going until they found all of the squares turtles on their mat and they are all covered up and then what you can do at the very end is you could even talk about well what are these other shapes that are not squares this is a circle you know a hexagon a heart you know octagon things like that so you could talk about the other shapes as well so we did that okay so something else we did with these squares just to kind of add in some counting is I have some ducks that have numbers on the bottom of them. And they look like this. You know, they're those ducks that you can put in water and they have numbers on the bottom. So basically what I had him do is he would pick a duck, turn it over and see what number it was. So this was the number two. And then he counted out two squares. One, two. And then we would say two, two squares, two. So it's still working on squares, but it was also working on counting. Okay, so here's four, four. And he would count out one, two, you know, three, four. So that was kind of fun too. So if you have um, number manipulatives, like, uh, I don't know, just blocks with numbers on them or magnets with numbers on them or like I have these ducks with numbers on them, anything you have, you could always pair up with your little pieces to make the activity even more fun to add in counting. Okay, the last activity we did was this shape identification page. So again, they used their squares and you can get squares um, from like, if you have pattern blocks, squares are in pattern blocks. So actually we could have used these, but these ones are orange. And since we were working on blue, I just had these other ones here. Um, but you can find any kind of squares. If you do not have square pieces, by the way, you can just use anything that you have to cover up your answers. So even on this activity that I showed you, if you don't have square pieces, that's fine. You just need to cover up the ones that are, are squares. Um, so same with this. So basically what he did, I'm going to move it this way so that it fits. 
All right, so he just had to go around and he had to cover up all the squares. So this is a square and this is a square. You get the idea. This picture is a square. The game is a square. And we were saying like what they were when he was covering them up. Okay, and then we were kind of talking about the shapes that were not squares and why they were not squares. This is a pizza. What's this? What shape is a pizza? It's a triangle triangle okay so that's not a square um and he did really good my, my two-year-old was doing this and he actually did a really good job so i am going to add a clip now in here showing you uh, my, you know my preschoolers working on this what? 